everyone Hatem Ali for projection back again with the news the news as we always promise today I'm gonna talk about Samsung bag 2017 I'm gonna tell you about I travel with these bags you know I bought these bags with almost 600 euro and this bag I bought it with almost 450 euro you got me this bag nothing happened to her because always I take her with me in airport you got me as you see it's clean, don't have any sign of scratch, it's just need cleaning, you got me? Because this bag I always take her with me, and I don't take her up. Let's see the shame, how do you done? I mean, how shame, because, you know, if you will not travel by first class or business class, they're gonna treat your baggage shit in all kind of airports. You know, I guess only left hands are, they're not treating your ba bags badly, you know? Why all world is like this? Why? I mean, we sh this is, they should, we should uh, issues all airline about this. Yeah, we let them fucking stay in front of court. I mean, why I bought bag with 600, uh, with 700 euro and see how they treat it. First, listen, I travel with this bag one time. Look, the liar scratched it all. Okay, look, look here. Shit, what they done to my bag? I mean, the animals, motherfucker, do you not understand that this bag is, is expensive? I mean, do you not understand that this Samsung is expensive bag? Look, I will show you. Wait, you still not seeing thing. Look here. Look how I travel with this bag one time. By the way, and don't forget, I rob her by nylon. I rob her by nylon before I travel. Look. Damn, you know, when I saw her, okay, look this. Wait, I still not show you anything. Look this. Look. I walk with my nail. See? Wait. Look this. I mean, what is this fucking treatment? Look what they done to my back. Look. Please, see here. It's full, full of scratches, you know. Look here. Look here. Okay. This is the shame here. See, please, guys, see, see what is this? See even the the skin out. I mean, see, see the layer out. Look, I'm gonna make focus to show you. Look. I mean, what's this fuck? I mean, what is this treatment for my bags? I mean, what is the shame that they done to my bag? I mean, wait, I will show you else. I mean, guys. Please look like I like I like you. You know, it looks like they grab it in the ground. You got me. Look here. Look here. I mean, what's this shit? What they done to my bag? I mean, I. By the way, this is not first time it's happened for me like this. Look here, guys. Okay, see. I mean, this is not the first time it's happened for me in my, for my bags like this. Look. If you're not gonna, I mean, yeah, if you are traveling by economic class, which is mean you are trash, which is mean you are garbage. If you travel by economic class, which is mean you will treat your bags badly. If you travel by economic class, which is mean you are trash man, you are poor, true for his shit. No, I not travel by business class and first class because I see that this is not worst. Listen, if the airplane were gonna crash, it's gonna crash if you are in first class or if you are in moon class. You're gonna die like dog and no one give a fuck about you. So why I have to buy? And you know, the different 1,500 euro that I'm gonna spend for this first class and business class from economic, I can go to the best hotel, five stars, swimming pool, full board, breakfast, lunch, disco, have fun with this 1,500 euro, 1,000 euro different and sometimes more. I'm gonna stay one week in five star hotel in the country that I'm gonna travel to. Why I have to spend it for three, four hours in airplane for having with champagne and chocolate and this bullshit with this 1000 I can buy it more buying a relaxation you're not buying a relaxation but how they treating our baggage in like in economic class this is shame I'm gonna show you now one video from a lot of videos how they treat and especially this motherfucker story this Indian Pakistanians how they treat our baggage because almost workers in airports they're Indian Pakistanians see how they treat our baggage they treated shit also I traveled in Egypt in Cairo airport they treating baggage shit in Istanbul airport, I saw them by my eyes from airplane how they threw baggage in the ground. Throwing like they threw, you know, that he, like he threw stone in water. You got me? Woof, woof. You know, he carried her like this and he threw her like this. 
by his old wife, you know. No, 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 no. I'm not, we not spend $700 and $800 that they treat our uh, baggage like this way. Bag, I bought it with 800 euro fucking life that you treated for me like this. What is this shit? I mean, why people silent about this? I'm gonna write notic about this. Air why airlines, dear? First of all, treating in airport are so shit become since 2010. They treat people in airport by bad way. Come, put out your seat belt. Check you. Do you shout on you? Especially in motherfucker Istanbul airport. This is the most garbage airport that I ever traveled to. Treatment in Istanbul airport are so bad. And Turkish people in airport treat people so badly, actually. I fight with one time with girl in airport and she called me security. I pushed them. I didn't give a fuck about them. In Istanbul airport, they treat bad people so bad. In Egypt airport also, they treat the baggage so bad. And also in Malaysia, I see them, the true bags not good. A lot of counters I travel, actually, the only airplane i mean in lufthansa i see them how they're treating bags they're treating bags normal but in other airports i swear to god a lot of airlines and i travel to in dubai also airlines i see that they're treating baggage so shit in economic they true her indian pakistani the true baggage they don't care i mean you 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 donkey you idiot stupid motherfucker can't you see that this is bag cost at least this is can't you read some slide can't you see that this bag cost a lot God damn it, so how much scratches I have in my bag, cost 750 euro 2017 model, I rob it by nylon, I rob it by nylon, see how she, how they treat fucking, how they treat her bad like this, I mean what is this fucking uh, airlines, except that I spend 800 and 1000, 2000 euro for ticket to fly to Japan or whatever shit, any country, except that they treat us bad in airport, they treat also our baggage bad, I mean this issue, all airlines in the world and all airports should stop fucking doing this. They should respect people, like business, like first class, like economic. You should respect people in airport, treat them well, smile in their faces and treat our baggage well. Fucking this travel by airplane then since it's gonna be like this. And no insurance for you. If airplane, if, if the driver, I mean the pilot was stupid, do mistake, airplane fall down. You are the pay the price, no one care about you and you not get money or even your family get money. If the airplane, the mechanic didn't see his job well and the airplane fucked up in there and you f die like dog, you, no one will feel sorry for you. Except that our life is not insurance in airplane, except they treat us bad in airport, except that I have bag with 800 euro and they back it for me full of scratches. One time I fly with this bag and see how much is back to me. Honestly, these issues, they should stop. Honestly, this is really all airlines in the world they should treating baggage well. As economic, as first class, as business class, they should treat only business class and first class they treat baggage nice, by the way. Other ways they're treating baggage so shit. One time I travel, see what happened to her 800 euro. I'm not talking about 800 euro, fuck it, I can spend it in nightclub one time. But since I came with this respectful, some snide brand and came with, with respect for airlines, and like this, you should treating our baggage no normal and nice. It's not mean that I travel by uh, normal airlines, which is mean no. By the way, I want to tell you some issues else. How uneducated and until now, airlines they not the forbidden Segway and Nine Boat. They not in. For example, if there's Chinese brand you want to travel with, you can forbidden it from travel to air. Why? Because she may burn in the air. What's this bullshit? That lithium battery will burn in the air and like this shit. Because hoverboard one time he burned before. So in home in America, so they say it's gonna burn in the air. Bullshit. If lithium battery explode in the air, your phone is gonna explode in the air. Because our phones is also lithium battery. If this is the forbidden scooter and like this and hoverboard. Because they have to know that Nine Boat is a nice company. You have to know that. And in motion also nice company. And nothing gonna happen in the air for them. Well, I, what I'm gonna tell you. If it's gonna happen. If you're scared that uh, Nine Boat gonna explain in the air, explore in the air. The lithium battery. Make workers with them. Put them all in one area and let workers watch them. What's the problem if someone starts to burn, turn off fire? But nothing is going to happen like this. This is bullshit. Just the one hand responsible about this nine boat that, because he have no place in airport. So this, they forbidden it. And this is shame. 2017, you cannot take this stuff with you. Why? And you can't enter airport with you. They shout on you. Like, oh, what is this shame? I mean, this is, this is really shame. For 2017 and airlines, they can't handle nine boat uh, with you in airport. And like this, I am objecting about what happened to my bag. 
I mean, I will write, not but the problem that now I reach Ukraine, Ukraine Airlines, they said for you, Ukraine Airlines, they said for me, maybe when transiting Dauha, Dauha, they treated badly. And in Cairo, they say for me, no, our baggage out from our airport, nice. And in Tokyo, they say, we don't know, we just transit, you know, I take trip tour, you got me, I go to Istanbul, I go to Tokyo, Cairo, uh, Kiev, then I travel to uh, Paris, I take trip tour, you got me, I see the world. I back to my, I back, uh, I found my back that she's ripped. I didn't focus actually when I out, but which airline did this to my back? But one, but all of them, actually, all of them, they're treating our baggage bad. I have many bags before they are broken. Many bags I brought them before from, uh, from, I back home, my ex bags before, all of them, when I travel one time, it, it's ripped. When I travel from Kiev to Istanbul, I reach Istanbul, it's ripped. I go from Istanbul to Paris, it's ripped. I go from Paris to New York, it's ripped. I mean, they should stop treating our baggage like this. And we should all airlines respecting our baggage. Or fuck this traveling by airplane at all. Let them fucking die from hangers. And no one travel by airlines and next time they will know how to treat our baggage. This was my object about how they're treating our baggage. And uh, I'm sorry for my bad language because I'm mad. You know, I just reached two days ago. I found my bag cost 800 euro or 750. I don't remember. It's robbed. And the guarantee for Samsonite is not covering this. The guarantee covering that if we, if it's uh, have factory default. I mean, not that uh, they are an airline. They're treating it bad. Anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll see you always follow and always put thumb and always put thumb up and subscribe my channel. Please subscribe my channel. <laughs> and uh, see you again in another videos bye bye and peace and happy new year for everyone by the way for 2018 I wish you all the best I wish you all the happiness bye bye thanks for watching
sure about that. No, I'm getting a video. Thank you. I'm watching how they do that. Yeah, I'm going to send it to United. Because uh, I buy a new luggage every month. I know. And now every you can month. see what they do with it. They don't care. Uh -uh, look at that. Yeah, just some big, bad employee, handicapped people, you know, he doesn't need two, two arms. I got this little thing in my basement and it's like a lot of chains and stuff. <laughs> 